should have acted. They're already here. The Elder Scrolls told of their return. The defeat was merely a delay. To the time after Oblivion opened. When the sons of Skyrim would spill their own blood. No one wanted to believe. Believe they even existed. And when the truth finally dawned, it dawned in fire. But there's one they fear. In their tongue, he's Dovakin, Dragonborn. Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome back to Skyrim. Today we are going to infiltrate the Golden Glow sewers with our brand new um, garb we have here, our new Thieves Guild equipment, um, which improves our thieving skills to very good. Well, not very good. Oh, and there's skeevers. Oh, and I, and I unequip my sword. Oh, crap. And I just got a disease from the skeever. And I'm not even going to heal it yet because I'm sure there's going to be more skeevers that I will contract more diseases from. Yep, here comes the fire. Back up, 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 back up. Oh, man. That was cool. That was really close, too. That that was really cool. It was like a trap set way up there. Yeah, I just tripped it. Oh, jeez. I tripped the tripwire and... uh. That was actually really cool. I bet I bet that's happened to a lot of people, but uh, that was actually cool that I avoided that by just backpedaling really fast. Because apparently fire spreads really slowly in Skyrim. <laughs> oh yeah, there's stuff in there. Let's let's try it. We're we have better lock picking anyways from our gloves, so we should be able to break this. Plus I bought tons of lock picks. Oh, okay, maybe it's not gonna be that easy. Somewhere in here. Oh, no, wrong way. Oh, God, look at on the bottom. It says my lock picking is zero out of one. It's because I have like minus. Oh, that's why it was so hard. I have like minus 30 lock picking because I'm so cold. And I have no way to warm myself up because I'm inside, I think. I need to, I need to build a fire. I don't have any firewood. Because I have extreme stat. Uh, loss be ooh nice that was worth it i have extreme stat loss because uh um i'm i'm like freezing cold right now cuz i swam through really cold water during like a rainstorm so it was like extra cold yeah so if i go to my magic and then effects yeah exposure very cold and i have ataxia oh <laughs> that's why my pickpocket or my lock picking was so bad i have minus 30 levels from that and minus and 25% harder from that. Let's... Oh, there's more skewer. I was just going to say, let's let's heal ourselves with this ataxia, but... Why would we when there's more skeevers to give us more diseases? So let's just let's just keep on going. I see you this time. Let's let's actually just trigger it. Yeah. Those, are, those aren't even harmful anyways. What? Did I go backwards? No. This must just be bring me up to the main island or something in in Golden Glow. Because this is obviously the end of the tunnel. Uh, so yeah, after I come up out of this little rat hole sewer deal, I'm going to drink a drink my cure disease potion because uh, I don't want to be... I don't want it to have harder to lock pick locks. There we go. Ataxia cured. And a cool particle effect. Now, I'm not very sneaky with a uh, glowing ball of pure light on top of my head, but uh, we're going to try to be stealthy here. I don't think we need to be. I think we killed everybody already, actually. Dead. 
dead chicken. <laughs> okay. And let's go in. Of course it's not locked. Why would it be locked? <laughs> well, I guess it wouldn't make much sense to install a lock on your door if you hired, like, 20 mercenaries to guard your place, would it? <laughs> I mean, it would have stopped me now. But, um... Anything we want. Oh, now they have a lock inside the house. I probably should have camped outside, actually, and gotten warm. I need to find a fire. Nobody nobody in here has a fire. Ooh. I think this is the lock box I need to steal from. Oh, no. Maybe not. But we will try to get in here. All right. <laughs> Alright, somewhere over to the right. There we go. Gold and gold. Awesome. Oh, nice. Ingredients. That's why I always, uh, well, I don't always, I sometimes check the, uh, the, uh, barrels. Wow, it is dark. Very dark. It's much better. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Gold necklace. Very, very dark rug. Oops, sorry about that noise. That was my phone going off. Uh, no, we're gonna open this door. Is there... Hmm. I'm just kind of looting the place. Not much to loot. Again, with the random dark spots. Must be... I wonder if it's because I have a... A candlelight up. That might be it. Where am I even supposed to go? Oh. Is there a downstairs? Oh, no. It just keeps going. Okay, I see. Yes. Boom. Oh, man. There's lots of you. Maybe get my shield out. Yeah. Oh, and it's dark. Actually, it's not too bad. One down. Let's go. Let's actually run away quickly and try to heal. Oh, we're going upstairs, apparently. They're not following me. I might be dead up here. Just kidding. <laughs> What am I talking about? I have tons of potions. Very dark, though. Sorry about that. There we go. Taken care of. These guys don't have very good loot on them. More lock picking. Some gold. Yeah, we, we definitely need a, a spell. I hadn't checked in here yet. Doesn't look like there's anything. No. Okay. Uh, and then I ran up here. Uh, that just goes to the second floor. Let's, let's check the basement first since we just unlocked it. Oh, there's a actual basement. Okay. Um, what would you call this then? This is basement two. All right, we'll just go in here. All right, here we are in the basement. Doesn't seem to be. Oh yeah, there's somebody back here. Lots of people. Let's go. So, yeah, she she definitely or the the wood elf definitely hired more than eight mercenaries. He just made a very girly scream. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? He went. Aah! I'm trying to get my restoration up. Oh, I look pretty cool with this armor on, don't I? <laughs> There's a cellar key. Awesome. Again, that's why you always loot the bodies. Nothing. Yes, level up. Nothing. Come on. There you are. 
No, that is. Ooh, get finished. Uh oh. Oh, there's no lanterns to break. Oh, that's my favorite thing. Okay, I feel like I missed something back here because I kind of just ran ahead. I didn't know I would keep going on like this. This is a really humongous basement. It's actually very, very maze like. Oh, nice. And a moose. I didn't expect to see that. And I can't loot him. Oh, no, it's just a bunch of heads. That's not a moose either. It's an elk. Two elk and some elk antlers. Some random pelts. And a, and a, <laughs> a mounted slaughterfish. This is kind of a random place down here. Oh, and very dark. This is the room I kind of skimmed over. Yeah, it's just some some huge mead barrels. Oh, a chest, yeah. So a good thing I came back. I need to warm up, don't I? My lock picking is like minus 30 levels because I'm because I'm cold. And, uh, iron armor, no thank you. Too heavy, too inexpensive. Um, crap, now where did I? Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> Let's see, let's look at this place on the map. Yeah, it's like a dang maze. Look at this. Not really a maze, it's pretty pretty straightforward actually, but uh, that one room just kind of threw me off. Maybe right there, so down another level. Another chest that I have to pick. Jeez, they didn't have their front door locked, but they have everything inside locked away. And it looks like there's a safe here, too. And, yeah, I have a key for that, I think. No, I don't. I'm going to attempt to break in, though, because I am determined to get whatever's inside this safe. I'm losing faith, though, because I can't even find... Uh oh, I might have to warm up before I try this because apparently my hand. Oh, 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 oh! Never mind. <laughs> oh man, Golden Globe bill of sale. Oh my, that's nice to have, isn't it? I didn't even use my key. What the heck? That's it, I guess. I guess we keep going. Is that all I had to do? I just have to go back to Brinjolf. Let's go back to the sewers, I suppose. Why did I crouch? Oh, I see how it is. Oh, right back here. <laughs> I think I even looked up there one time. I didn't even notice. All right, back up to the world. And we could probably, oh, that's pretty. Guess what? Come on, little bars, go away. I wanna take a screenshot. Little yellow bar, stop, go away, there you go. Boom, screenshot with my pretty little Candlelight floating above me like a little fairy. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's fast travel to Riften. I mean, go talk to Brinjolf and tell him that we get the, the bill of sale. I think we just got the deed to Golden Glow Estate. That's pretty nice, isn't it? We didn't even see the wood elf. Huh. I guess he didn't give us any trouble, so we'd have to kill him. I kind of wanted to kill him, see what he had on him, but we don't, I don't think we saw him, did we? The only people I killed were, um, Merson, what were they called? I don't even remember. Look at that, we, we went up over a level, like a level and a quarter almost. Just from doing that one little quest, wow. And a really long loading screen. <laughs> yeah, we are going to Rift, and for some reason this place is being a little laggy, so I think I'm going to skip until I go into the Ragged Flagon.
I just wanted to show this off too. Um, the water is giving off a very cool fog effect. Yeah, just wanted you to see that too. <laughs> very cool. All right, so minor sh distractions out of the way. Let's go talk to the quest giver. I haven't talked to you, have I? Even if you're one of them, they call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Oh yeah. I hey here. Have one on the house. <laughs> you just gave me a beer. I already told you. They call me Dirge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dumb name. Before they put you in the ground. I need to warm up. I have work if you've got the backbone. Not really. Not right now, at least. Ah, oh, yes. Dude, the fire's not down there, but... Whatever. Oof, I think my stats are getting better now. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh... That very negative effect of being freezing is now gone. <laughs> Thank god. Oh, my guy's here too. I forgot about him. Let's uh, let's pick him back up. You kind of moved a little bit, didn't you? Smile on you, friend. Try not to walk into any spike-filled pits or filthy skeever dens. We actually just got out of a, a filth-filled skeever den. So it's I'm glad you didn't come, huh? You've got the skills to be a thief. I don't know about the others, but I sure am glad to see a fresh face down here. The flagon used to be packed every night with the boys from the guild. Why are you called Veckel the Man? The last few years have been pretty bad. It's pretty obvious that you're a man, I'm aren't you? No. I have blah, blah, blah. I'm told they're the ravings of a madman. A wizard, it's said to be spread across okay, I'm a little interested. Very hard to come by. I'll get them for and you. We have, in his later years, blah, blah, blah. they moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his uh, experiment. Very weird. Recently, a woman was found naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. Okay. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Okay. Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. That's not very nice. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. I hate necromancers. After he, made Ringvil, he was never heard from again. All right, yeah, I'll save your lady or whatever. I guess he doesn't have a lady. I'm just supposed to get get rid of this guy that's doing weird experiments. Where is Brinjolf? Of course he's in the the uh, inner sanctum, as I like to call it. Not the sister. No, it's not called the sister. It's the inner sanctum. Come on. We'll only catch on if we start using it, guys. Come on. <sighs> the inner cistern. Gross. You just been waiting there this whole time for me, man? That's kind of weird. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. How? You've been standing here the whole time. I mean, are you hearing the street above you? Is that how it works? I don't even, I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> Let me take a look at what you found. Aaron got so golden glow. What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. Uh oh. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Uh. I never saw I should have read it, maybe. That would have been a good idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. I mean, can I look at it? But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Uh-oh, I killed a bunch of her guards and stole her horse, so that might not be good. Don't sound so eager. <laughs> it's not a social visit. It's business. Yeah, I'm not that excited, actually. That's between you and Maven. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Okay. Maven's business. <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whip lot. Whips are inanimate objects. objects. And there's plenty more where that came from. 300 septums. All right. Oh, and I got another achievement. Skyrim needs you. Maven wants to see you right away. I see. So I just had a random crash. I was uh, all I did was hit escape. I was gonna go check that achievement that I got. 
uh, called Skyrim Needs You, and right when I click Escape, Skyrim completely crashed, and so uh, I'm gonna see where I continue at, but uh, if I have to talk to Brinjolf again and stuff like that, I'll just cut it out, but uh, I did wanna... I do want to see if we had enough to get an extra skill point because we have done a couple of achievements since I checked. Let's see where we are. Yeah, we just have to check the bridge off again. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to check this and I will see you in a little bit. At Maven, of course. Um, it must be Hall of Glory. We do not have enough, um, but it was a specific number of quests. All right, so I'll meet you Maybe at Maven Brackbire's right place. Away. All right, so I am here at the uh, being the barb, and this is where Maven Blackbriar is supposed to be. So let's go see if she's in here. Um, I went back to the Blackbriar like lodge area to see if that armor was still there on some of the dead guys, but they had despawned, and so I didn't get it. Uh, but as I was searching their house, I did find uh, an unusual gem, uh, and so what that means is I started the No, Star no Stone Unturned quest. Uh, and I've actually never uh, beaten this quest. I've never gotten all 20, I think it's 24 unusual gems to get the crown. Uh, sorry, that's a little spoiler, but uh, that's what you get. It's the Age Guild quest, so it kind of goes along with it. But uh, we're supposed to bring it to Vex to see what it is. But we are supposed to talk to Maven. Yeah, what's your problem? Who is upstairs. If you're looking for a challenge, you come Why are you up place. in an inn? So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Well then. How about we skip the conversation? You're a firebrand, aren't you? It's about time Brynjolf sent me someone with business sense. I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild over Ooh. there. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malice Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Okay. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect... I dare say the guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Hmm. Some layabout named Savion been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Savion get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. All right. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, so we have a new quest. Maven Blackbriar has sent me to White Run, right, where I am to meet with someone named Malus Ma Machias. Machias? I don't, I don't know how to say that. Uh, together, our goal is to bring down one of Maven's competitors, Hunting Brew Meadery, and discover where he obtained the financing to take her on. All right, so that's that's back in Whiterun, and uh, using our new rules that we have set, we are able to fast travel to Whiterun. Uh, very nice of myself to give me that rule. <laughs> uh, and I remember doing this Welcome quest from before. Bar, it's it's it's, it's an okay quest, I guess. <laughs> it is Steve Skill related, so that's okay. Let's head on over to Whiterun, because it's just like taking a carriage, but without taking the carriage, you know, a little bit faster. All right, here we are. Oh, yeah, he's got his torch. That's very nice. Smile on you, friend. Oh, those are some bright uh, torches, aren't they? 
Oh, and we still have our, uh, our Thieves Guild armor on. I think we're going to keep it on while we're doing these quests at least. Alright, so where is this guy? Looks like he's in the inn. Want to hear a little Lord Wisdom? No thanks. Is he? Yep, he is. Alright. He might be sleeping, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it. Seems like it's the middle of the night. But it did seem like there were lots of people just walking around out there. I guess we'll find out. Alright, where is this guy? Looks like he's in through here. Yeah, he's just sitting there. Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Ooh. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery what? has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Don't get it. too far ahead. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. That makes sense. You, know I mean? you have a leak that's kind of wiggling. I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> look, look at it go. It's just kind of rocking back and forth. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabyarn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests. But you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Ah, uh, I see. Clever. And I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meter. Oh, God. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. Oh. That's where you should start. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. I made the mistake of borrowing coin from Sabjorn. He's allowing me to pay it back, but he's working my fingers to the bone. He treats me like a slave. I have to do every nasty, dirty job in the meadery. If this plan works, not only is my debt gone, but I'll be set up for life. Maybe well, I'm glad I'm helping you out. Deal. If Savjorn ends up in jail, she's going to take over his meadery. And guess who gets to run the Blackbriar meadery in Whiterun? You're looking at him. I don't see a mirror. Once Sabjorn is out of the way, Maven has plans for the place. One way or another, we don't want the pests coming back. <laughs> of course. Consider it just more of the dirty work. I did my part getting them in there. Now you need to clear them out. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Um, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. All right. Uh, I just want to point something out. Uh, I've installed a, uh, a mod called Detailed Rugs, and this looks amazing. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. God, I love, I love mods. Just people, I mean, who thinks of this stuff? That's fantastic. Look at that rug. Ah, I just can't get over it. That's just little mods like that are just the coolest ones, I think. Alright, so let us get to the meadery and then I think I might have to call it uh, I know the quest at the meadery is quite a long dungeon crawl so we might probably not gonna do this episode definitely not gonna do the episode this episode because we only have about a minute and a half left um, but the meadery is just yeah it's just outside the city limits here so let's uh what's my care weight doing yeah we, we have a hundred over a hundred uh, we're probably good for this quest I mean probably come back and um, sell some stuff I know thieves skilled armor when I see it. I'm not fooling anyone. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be trying to fool you if I was blatantly wearing thieves guild armor. I mean, come on, guy. Uh, yeah, this way. <laughs> I love how the guards comment on what you're wearing. It's kind of funny. Alright, so there it is up in the distance. Oh, that's pretty. God, give me that sun glare. Yeah. Yeah. Throw to the world. You can see High Rothgar from here. Wow. <laughs> God, that looks like a long ways away. 
Wow. Ooh, almost jumped in the water. I always forget. You're not supposed to jump in the water. Got you get cold. And then you really suck when you're cold. <laughs> really a lot. Alright. Maybe I should just stick to the path, huh? Ooh, butterfly. As I go off the path. The blue ones are the best because they give you restore health, I believe. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to stop here for this episode. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.